Hi, my name is Carly Zawaki and I'm a trainer here at Altus Group. Today I'm going to be discussing the tips and tricks from our top support cases, which is file conversion, your rent roll, and your reports. Let's go ahead and get started. The first tip and trick I'm going to discuss is file conversion. Models created within a particular release are freely interchangeable among the service packs produced for that release. So for example, you can import any 1181 models into 118 systems or 1171 models into 117 systems. However, it is not possible to import models that are created by later systems and push them into prior systems. So an example here is I cannot import a 12.0 model into Argus version 11.8. If you send a model to someone and they are unable to open it, it could be due to a version difference. So the first trick I'm gonna go through is how to convert your 12.0 files to a prior system or a prior version. So right now, I currently have Argus Enterprise 12.0 open, and I have a couple of properties within my property list here. Before I convert these files, I wanna show you the error message that you would receive in Argus version 11.8 if you were trying to import a 12.0 file into that system. So referencing my screen here, I'm now opening up Argus Enterprise version 11.8, and I'm going to click the Import Properties dropdown and find a 12.0 file. So let me go ahead and navigate to my desktop real quick. And there is currently a 12.0 file that I just clicked Import, and I will now click Finish. As this file is importing, you will notice it says two tasks, one failed, one remaining. Since the task failed, that is due to it being a 12.0 file and me not being able to push it into that prior system. So you'll now see whenever I close out of this window, no properties appear within my property list because it was unable to import. Now I'm going to walk you through in 12.0 how to calculate as and convert to a prior version such as version 11.8. So in this case, let's just say you're trying to send a file to a broker or a colleague or a sponsor. Whomever you're trying to send that file to, if they are telling you that it cannot upload and it's saying failed, the first thing you should do is ask them what version they're running. In this example, let's say that the client is running version 11.8 and I am currently in version 12.0. You can click one property or multiple properties to export and push into a different version, and it's all done within the property list by selecting the desired properties you wanna export, and then up within your portfolio interfaces ribbon bar, there's an icon that reads export properties, and clicking that first drop down here that reads export as Argus Enterprise property asset file, I can then click where I want to store these files. So in this case, I'm going to store them in my downloads folder. And I'm then gonna go ahead and click OK. It's now giving me the first dropdown. This first dropdown is reading, do I wanna export the properties as retaining the existing, existing version, excuse me, which would retain Argus version 12.0, or do I wanna convert it to a prior version? And in this case, I'm going to be converting it to a prior version, which is Argus Enterprise version 11.8.3. As soon as I select the version that I want to calculate it as, I will then click Finish. As this is loading, it might take a couple of seconds to load because I do have a bunch of properties I clicked here. When this reads 100%, I can close out of it. And now whoever I send these properties to, if they're running version 11.8, they will now be able to upload my properties into their system. The next tip and trick that I'm going to discuss is going to be your reports section. So making sure I am back in Argus Enterprise version 12.0, the our support team in Americas gets a few questions over reports and recoveries. So I decided just to consolidate the two topics together. So I will be discussing your recovery audit reports within Argus Enterprise version 12.0. I'm gonna go ahead and open up DHC Plaza by simply double clicking on the property here. And once I open up the property, I'm gonna make sure my reports section is open and I'm navigating now to my audit report parent tab. 
in Argus Enterprise version 12.0, there is going to be a new uh, detailed recovery structure or recovery structure report that reads recovery detail by expense. What this report is doing is it's showing you the amounts that you're being reimbursed per tenant from an individual expense. So in this case, if I wanted to see what I was being paid from Hargreaves Enterprise for insurance, I could click on insurance and I now see in year one, I am receiving a total of $30,000 going towards insurance from Hargreaves Enterprise. The next thing I wanted to point out is in, Var in Argus Enterprise version 12.0, you can utilize shortcut keys for your reports section. So just like your input section where you can use shortcut keys to toggle in between your inputs, you can now use your shortcut keys to navigate in your report section as well. The last tip and trick I'm going to talk to you about is the rent roll. Our support team also gets a lot of calls regarding the rent roll, so I just wanted to discuss a few new features that are within the rent roll in Argus version 12.0. So navigating to my rent roll here within my Argus Enterprise model, which is DHC Plaza, I'm going to get into my rent roll section. The first thing you're going to notice within your rent roll is when you're in your rental income section, there is a new column that reads current rent. Your current rent field will be red if your current rent exceeds your market rent. So the current rent column will be a new feature. Another new feature is down at the bottom here in this bottom bar down at the here at the bottom. You will notice it shows you now your total market rent, total valuation rent, and total contracted rent. The next new feature within your Argus Enterprise rent roll in version 12.0 is going to be exporting your rent roll um, to Excel. So in my grid navigation bar up at the top, if I were to click export to rent roll, it's going to take my entire rent roll within my DHC Plaza and push and extract that information into Excel. So now it opens up an Excel document where I can see everything that is within that model is currently now pushed into Excel. Thanks for listening to this month's tips and tricks video. I look forward to seeing you next month.